Hello again friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to kind of talk through a little bit about my 2022 artist resolutions. So happy new year and I hope that this year will treat you pretty well. And I just kind of want to talk about a couple of goals that I set for myself um, in terms of art specifically and it kind of explain them a little bit and share them with you. So first we have more YouTube videos and Twitch streams. So in case you didn't know, I actually did start streaming on Twitch, streaming mostly art, but also sometimes um, like Stardew Valley. And then in the future, I just kind of hope to play some chill PC games and just kind of get stuff done in terms of drawing with a live audience. And yeah, I'm really excited to do that a little more. I did a few and I actually did save the videos on my channel. And yeah, and if you're watching this video, you know that I have a YouTube channel and you know where it is and where to find it. So I want to do more videos because I just really enjoy the whole editing process and kind of putting myself out there a little more and in a different form than I would usually on something like Instagram or something else. So yeah, I want to do more YouTube videos and that includes a variety of different types of YouTube videos too, maybe some more like instructional videos as well as um, kind of like day in the life, sharing my studio space and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, more YouTube videos and Switch streams. Another one is start a Kofi. Um, so if you don't know Kofi or coffee or whatever, it's just kind of like a tip jar platform where you can get some, you know, more exclusive looks into my work. I plan to post like work in progress and kind of like first looks there and maybe in the future, maybe also like some digital downloads that you can get for either free or for like tip based stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just basically going to be like a tip jar for me, which will be pretty cool. The next one I have is to develop my original characters and stories. So ever since I was super young and I began drawing, I pretty much just started making stories for the characters that I was drawing and I developed them a lot. But, you know, after like six or more than that, actually, maybe more like nine or so years, um, I kind of been neglecting them. I've also evolved and learned a lot about storytelling and I want to learn more. Obviously, I'm not where I want to be exactly, but yeah, I want to kind of just develop my storytelling and my writing skills a little more and tie that into my drawings and my characters and just kind of make everything a little more cohesive and eventually, you know, maybe some things like a web comic or something like that would come out of it and that would be really, really cool. Um, so I just kind of have the idea, the mentality that maybe in another year or so, um, or a couple of years, I would be able to make a legitimate like comic book out of the stories and characters that I had made from my childhood and developed now as an adult. So that is a really big goal of mine is just to develop characters and stories and lore and just kind of work towards something a little more substantial rather than just drawing my characters. And I also want to be consistent with how I'm drawing them and, and their story and stuff. Yeah, I just want to develop those a little more. I also want to make short comics. So I have a bunch of ideas for like little, maybe like four panel comics that I want to actually bring to reality. So I'm going to hopefully be able to kind of simplify my drawing styles to fit more like a comic style and that'll be really nice. Next goal is more illustrations with characters and backgrounds. So I obviously do a lot of character illustrations. That's kind of always been my thing. And I really want to focus on drawing more backgrounds as well, just kind of practicing simplifying backgrounds and stylizing them. And I had did one study already that you can find over on my Instagram and it was really fun and I hope to do more studies, maybe at least like one a month or something. But I also want to make a big point of combining the two. So not necessarily doing one or the other, but trying to push myself out of my comfort zone to combine illustrations with characters and backgrounds. And that way I'll have a little bit more of a cohesive kind of plan, especially tying back to the developing original characters and stories. And my last goal is some master's studies. So I have no formal art training. So I definitely want to learn from the best and the greatest. And 
I want to just learn from both artists that I admire in the current day and as well as masters from throughout history. So I'm going to kind of take it upon myself to further my art education and just learn more about compositions and color theory and how to draw certain things by studying the masters. So that is all my goals for 2022. Um, obviously, there's probably going to be more that come along the way, but these are kind of the ones that I want to start out with and I wanted to share with you. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your goals for 2022 are, um, art or personal or anything in between. I'd love to hear it and to chat with you about it. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.